so this is what you are going to make it some simple uh, fuselage structure we used only bulkhead and skin uh, skin i haven't used long uh, long arms and uh, stringers you can include it later so here also this is my first plane okay on this plane i am going to draw this profile bulkhead profile okay so i have i have two profiles one is this type of box and semicircle this is circular profile two profiles i have you can see this is in red color so from here to here i am going to use that profile this profile i am going to use it from here to here then for this blue color i am going to use a circular profile and here i have mentioned the scale so this is almost similar to the uh, wing structure same profile in different plane different scale option you have to uh, copy paste it but i am taking this as the first plane so first i have to offset the planes in this direction you have to copy the sketch in this profile then you have to do the scaling then uh, i after that i have to offset the planes in this direction and do it is it clear professor jan yes sir yes sir okay so first we have to create this profile okay in the main plane then we can go for the offsetting of planes so let's create it so by default you will get product window So mine is 8 GB RAM, 2 GB uh, graphics card. With that itself, it takes so much time. Okay, black color background is fine. Okay, I'm going to mechanical design, part design. I'll start here. You can go to the sketcher also. So select the plane, for example. is it explain any plane you can choose it it's up to you sir your voice is coming very low sir can you please yes sir okay thank you thank you i will replug it again now yes sir now clear sir okay thank you so first i have to draw this so bulkhead cross sectional profile then we can do the offsetting of plane from here to here so first we will draw this profile so any idea which tool we can use it to draw this so here it is like a, a straight lines with the corners of radius 20 any tool we can use it to draw this profile which one you can use so any tool you can use it which one you can use any idea so here you can see i have profile tool rectangle tool circle tool even line tool so can you say which tool you can use Anyone? Sir, so rectangle, rectangle, and circle, and after that we can trim the edges, and then like the okay corners we can add fillet maybe. Yeah. Okay. Fillet or something. Yeah. So from here to here, first we can draw one rectangle. Then one. Chamfer the edges. Yeah. Then we can yeah cut this line. Then we can uh, draw a arc. Uh, okay. This is one way. This is the uh, most used method. Uh, other than that, we can use this profile tool also. As you know, this method I will go for the profile tool. Okay, so this profile tool also we can choose it. Let's see. So profile tool means continuously we can create the lines. 
and for this so here i need the arc right so if you select any tool the sketch tools will be expanded now you can see so whether you can extend this line as a straight line or the tangent arc so i want to create a tangent arc okay so using the profile tool itself i have created the upper portion and the lower circle or you can create in this way also not an issue first you can create one rectangle then you can create a circle or arc it's up to you okay like this also you can create it then you have to trim this line or delete this line is that clear hello yes sir okay yes sir so now we can give the dimensions So from the central point to upper one is eighty-two point five. What would be the radius of this uh, circle? Radius of this outer circle, the semicircle. Hello. Is it same? Two point five. Seven to five. Yeah, eighty-two point five. So here you can see. So this is the radius, right, from here to here. So this one they mentioned here. Okay, so radius is eight to eighty-two point five. This height also eighty-two point five. So this is eighty-two point five. This radius also eighty-two point five. Then how to uh, turn this into green color line? Hello. How to turn this into green color? Am I ready? You can fix it, sir. Align. Hmm. From where to where? With y axis, you can fix oh. it as a respect. Y axis to which one? Uh, that straight line, sir. Like this, you are telling. Hmm. Okay. Coincidence option help of. Okay. So mostly, uh, you can try to fix this center point with the axis. Okay. If there is a circle or anything. to try to match that circle point with this axis it will be easy to proceed further you can see as this object is a symmetrical object right so you should try to keep it in this way that is coinciding this point with this line okay or you can give symmetry between these two line and with this axis anything will work so let's coincide this point with the center point Okay, so if you coincide also, automatically it will be symmetry because radius is given. Is that fine? Yes, sir. Okay. Again, for a similar profile with a less radius, you can go for the offset, or better, you can try it again. As it is a very simple profile, you can try it again. But this time the radius is seventy-five. This height also seventy-five. Okay. So I will use the same profile tool. So it should be a straight vertical line, straight horizontal line. Then here you can convert this into the circular arc. Yeah. So now we can give the dimensions. This is seventy-five, and radius we can give seventy-five. Now. again same way hmm? you can fix the center point or you can give symmetry so this is created next step we can do the corner and chamfer in this uh, corners okay so corner of radius 20 
then chamfer vertical length is 10 okay the angle will be default by default it is 45 degree so vertical height is 10 so first i will do the uh, corner so in the operation toolbar first tool is corner you can select the center point or these two line to do the corner okay so you can select the center point also that also will work center point or these two lines so this one they mentioned as 20 this also 20 and here chamfer between these two lines so angle by default it will be 45 so they have given this total length of this chamfer display face but what we have is the vertical height okay. from here to here vertical height is 10 so i just delete and creating a, again so from here to here right click make it vertical it should be 10 same way here also So here also you have a, a choice you can make it in only one side then you can do the for example you can create only this side profile and this side you can do the mirroring so it is up to you so n number of procedures, procedures are there there is no restrictions this profile is ready and now next step we have to offset the planes So here I have drawn the profile. Okay, in this plane. Now this said I want to offset the planes. How many planes I need? One, two, three, four planes I need. First three planes having the distance of 200. Last plane 150. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So offset that, we set explain, 200 and in opposite direction I have to create it. So this will create only one plane for the 200 mm distance. I need further three more planes. So you can give repeat object after OK. So give OK. So now I think three more planes we need it. So you can unselect this create in a new body that is unnecessary. Okay, so first plane of 200 mm and I have created another three planes also of 200 mm. So 200, 200, 200, this also 200. But what, what we need is the 150 mm, right? 200, 200, 200, last one is 150 mm. As it is using the formula, it is created 200 between all the planes. So this alone I have to change it. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how to change it means, so normally you can edit it, if you double click, you can edit that uh, distance etc and all, but here what it shows, it shows the formula, because if a repeat after uh, OK means there is a formula, so it is taken 200 everywhere, so let's go to that formula, see it is not editable, okay, this window, you can't do anything, so you have to select the formula, apply to this box, you will get another one window, here you can see so plane two three four okay so this is the last plane everywhere there is a formula so i don't want this formula i have to manually enter the other things and all formula it is okay 200 200 automatically taken for the last plane alone i don't want the formula so simply select that plane and delete it okay now see there is nothing here deleted okay now you can uh, edit this column so I have to uh, give it, how? what is the distance now? 750. Very good, 750. It is reduced. Is it clear or should I repeat? Yes. Okay. So what is the next step? I have to copy this profile in all the planes. How to do that? 
copy the sketch and paste in the part body and paste in the sketch okay so i have to copy this profile and paste it in all the planes but i should do it in this tree okay so copy the sketch from the tree then paste it in each plane in the same sequence you should not change the sequence plane 1 plane 2 plane 3 plane 4 like that you have to paste it otherwise later you will get some issues any profile will be hidden okay if you change the sequence these are all some bugs in the software even uh, version to version it it varies every time sir what happens if the figure is hidden sir how will we get back it sorry ma so what happens if the profile is hidden hidden means uh, no uh, that's why for that only we are using this once it is hidden you cannot select it for example this plane if it is hidden you cannot use it if i have to uh, draw any profile on this sketch you have to select this plane and you have to select the sketch so that i can uh, draw it right but once it is automatically hidden even if i try to select it this sketch and this tree also it is not working so those are all the bugs so to avoid that, if it's hidden it will be visible in the extrusion mode sir like if you extrude it, it even though it is hidden in this window it can be seen in this tree but it is not working if you try to go to the sketcher by selecting this plane it is not going so some bugs so to avoid that we are using copy pasting in the same sequence okay hello even uh, some, if it is manually if you are hiding it you can uh, again bring it back show but these things also not working in that uh, automatic cases randomly it, for example if you change that after if you are converting these things into pad randomly it is hiding these two uh, bulkheads or these two bulkheads like that randomly it is taking something so we are we have to spend more time on it to recover it so to avoid that follow the copy paste in the tree in the same sequence is it clear yes sir okay so next step we have to change the scale so this one and this one is same <coughs> scale is 1 okay first plane second plane same scale i don't want to change from here onwards i have to change it for the scale of 0.8 0.5 0.2 and this is the top view okay everything it is in the center line about the center point so i have to uh, reduce the scale to 0.8 0.5 0.2 so let's do it so this one and this one is one this is 0.8 simply select operation toolbar fourth tool in that uh, fifth tool is scale about the center point i am reducing the scale i don't want this duplicate mode without duplicate mode also it will work so how to find uh, uh, if it is really necessary if you want two uh, profiles then you can use this duplicate mode or in some time so you need only one profile that has to be increased or decreased so you should try with by unselecting this duplicate mode For point eight, now it is changed. Sometimes, if there is any auto constraint, what will happen? Software will not do this scaling properly. The profile may be distorted. In that case, you can go for the duplicate mode so that you will get two profiles, original and modified. Then originally you have to delete it. That, that uh, I will show it in the uh, in one profile. I will show it. So here we are not facing any issue. So without duplicate mode, I am just changing the scale. So about the center point, it is point five. Then this one is about the center point, it is point two. So this side it is fine. Everywhere we have created. Even if you want a mixture, you can go for the pad. but we can do it later so now we will offset the plane in the forward direction okay plane with a distance of 80 70 50 so i need three planes first so let's create it and in the first plane 
that is from a plane at 80 distance we have the same profile maybe i can finish it first so i am going to offset only one plane for the 80 mm distance there i am going to copy paste this same profile and going to do the scaling of 0.7 so this plane offset here to 80 mm and i can copy this first profile and paste it in this fifth plane so here also first i am reducing the scale it is of 0.7 okay now it is changed but so this is the top view okay but in the front view if you see if you see it is offset okay so this is the first plane profile this is the fifth plane profile okay so it is offset to the 15 mm from the center point it is not in the center point what we have done we have uh, reduced the scale in the center point itself this is the original profile this is the modified profile for the scale of 0.7 it is in the center point now i have to offset this profile downwards to the 15 cm is it clear yes now let's see so i am selecting this profile so if we expand this fourth tool third one is the translate so from this center point to first i will unselect this duplicate mode okay from the center point to 15 cm down i am offsetting okay actually without any issue i can offset right but in the older version actually i think this is the where is the version 2009 ah okay so this issues are changing with the version to version in our uh, university we have 2014 but there what happens it is not working if i do the translate there are some auto constraint so that this profile is compressed in that case what we have to do we have to go with a translate with duplicate mode so that you will get original profile also the translated profile then you have to delete the original profile is it clear always for scaling and offsetting so you should use so without duplicate mode so that we can get only the final uh, profile offset at profile or scaled up or scaled down profile in some case you won't get the profile properly it, it can be compressed or it won't translate itself even though if you produce the, if you give the translate it won't move itself or it will be compressed or distorted in these cases you can give duplicate mode so that you will get both original and properly modified uh, a scaled up or a translated model then you have to delete the original model is it clear yes sir actually same model in our lab i tried 2014 that version there i couldn't uh, translate like this what happened this some line there is a coincidence with this axis it is the total profile is compressed then i tried with duplicate mode then deleted the original but in this version without any issue i could translate so again uh, software to software it varies okay this profile we have created the next profile circular profile so the circle center point is 30 cm from the axis okay and two concentric circles one is of radius uh, sorry dia 60 and dia 70 so we will draw that so first we have to offset the plane for the 70 mm on that plane i have to draw this circular profiles so first offset the plane for 70 mm on that plane so draw the circular profile so the circular center point should be coincide with the vertical axis and there should not be any auto constraint 
and the radius is given as one is seventy mm, another one is sixty mm. And distance between from the center point or this horizontal axis to this point is thirty. Okay, so the profile is created. At last, for fifty mm, we have one plane. There, I have only one point. Do you see that? So there is no profile here. Only one point is there. For this 50 mm plane, okay. So let's create it. I'll tell you what is the use of that point. Just to create the the uh, nose cone. That's it. So offset this plane in the forward direction to 50 mm. There I can create a point. Point should be the concentric to that circles, so it should be aligned in this first vertical axis. Then I can give concentricity between this point and this circle. That's it. Now all the profiles are ready. Now you can go for the padding. Is that fine? How to create all the profiles? Hello. Anybody? Yes, sir. Clear. Yeah. Okay. So then we can go for the padding of ten mm. Okay, each profile having the thickness of ten mm. So I I have to use it continuously. So double click. I will start with this first profile. Ten mm. Okay. So I have created the all all the bulk cuts required. Actually, I thought of producing. Holes here, then I can go for the long rounds and stringers. It will be further complicated, so I just stopped it. So the students can do it within two hours. Okay. So if you are interested, so you can introduce some uh, gap in it. If you want, you can increase the thickness also. This one, you can introduce a, a profile, a rectangular profile or any profile that you can extend as a long rounds. Okay. That you can further explore it. So now let's create the surface. So two ways are there. any idea how to create the surface for example i have to fill the surface between these two bulk head any idea which tool you can use first which module you have to go so we are in part design where you can create solid models you have to go to why if you Very good. We have to go to wireframe and surface design. So these are all the important toolbars. Now, so which tool you can uh, use it to create the surface between these two uh, bulkheads? Multi-section. Okay, multi-section surface here, but both are of same size. So even if you use extrude or multi-section solid, multi-section surface, both will work in the same way. So okay, if you can take multi-section surface, and if you try to select, you can see you can select only one line. Okay, so each things are a separate edges. So if you select this edge, then here also you can select only one edge. Only between these two, you can create it. Or you may think. Why I have to create from only from here to here, sir? Continuously I can select all those uh, straight lines. Either also you can try. What will happen? Sometimes there will be a gap. So I will show you. So normally uh, in the original aircraft itself, how we will do the uh, surface panels? 
it will be between it will be like a small small panels okay attached in the uh, smaller sections it won't be like a single sheet cover the entire aircraft small small surface panels only attached so like that if you create it will be it will be better for example i will tell you what will happen if you go for the uh, continuous selection of the creation of the planes for example i am creating surface for all these horizontal lines and you can see that uh, arrow mark it is in the same side so i will get the surface like this properly now you don't find any mistake in it it is correct only let's create for the next edge for this edge this one this one okay so from here to another side another side same thing same side you have to choose okay now if i'm giving okay now if you zoom okay this time here it is properly attached here also okay it is properly attached but here you can see there is a gap right so we cannot create a surface from here to there there will uh, there will be auto uh, tangency software will take you can see there is unnecessary bulge in this region due to this bulge here there is a, a gap here so this is not the correct method so we don't create it completely we are creating between each edges i will show another method also so first method you can create the panels between here and here then between this edge and this edge now you can see there is no gap okay it is properly filled in originally in original uh, manufacturing also we will create the patches that is uh, surface between this small small section only is that clear so let me fill this then for the remaining i will tell you the another method so this is one way okay you can select all the uh, individual edges and another parallel edges you can create it or otherwise i can project these edges okay as a single uh, closed profile in this phase also i can project all those individual edges as the single closed profile then i can create the surface between these two closed profiles that way also it, we can work it so there are also two methods are there so one method how we will create it now n number of methods are there i am just telling two methods so one way is i can go for the sketch on this flat surface then i can use this wireframe and surface uh, sorry uh, project 3d element tool i can continuously select these outer edges okay so i have selected outer edges here similarly i can select the outer edge on this side so go to the sketch select only the outer edges so now i have two profiles now you can give multi section surface between these two closed profiles i think see this line additionally i have created mistakenly okay you can see this line so it is wrong now it is fine so as i said there should be only one closed profile or else software will show the uh, error so this way also instead of individually selecting the small small edges you can draw one uh, complete profile then you can select these two profile is it clear hello yes yes 
or another way instead of going to uh, sketcher there instead of using the project 3d element this also you can use it this join tool if you use this join tool so here already i have the profile so let's create this profile on this face using the join tool it is further simpler method so simply select the edges you want to join then okay profile is created so like this also you can create it instead of going to the sketch and project 3d element using this join tool also you can create it now you can create another one surface between these two profile you can see the arrow mark here it is outside here it is inside you have to turn it then it can be created okay i think join tool is very easy right yes sir so here also i can use the join tool okay then select these two profiles okay both side it is inside so profile is created at last i can close this if you want to close which tool you will use it i have to create a uh, surface for this profile how to close this hole which tool you can use hello are you there so you can yes, you can use the fill yes, sir. you can use the fill tool as i have the profile already simply select that profile it will be filled okay or if you don't have this profile what you have to do for example uh, inside i am creating the fill so you have to select all those edges individually so already we have projected the edge so straight away we could select the pro, uh, single profile and filled otherwise you can select individual lines then you can give fill okay both options are there so this side it is over any doubt loss okay so if i am fast if i am uh, fast you can stop me any time okay so what is that so i need everyone should be well versed with this tools and designing okay then only i'll be satisfied so you can stop me any time if you don't understand if you couldn't follow i can repeat the procedures for uh, 10 times also not an issue at least everyone should understand the procedure that's what i want okay now we can uh, go for the creation of surface between these two so here also it is same i can go for the h2 h or i can project the profiles so two profiles i can join so before that let's see these two because this is totally different profiles and here if you select it will be selecting as a single circular uh, profile but here if you select it is selected as the uh, individual edges so here also so here no need to project anything but here i have to project anything uh, project it okay so i can use this edge uh, join tool so project this individual edges so that i am getting a single profile okay here on single profile here on single profile better i will create it here itself uh, here also i can finish it now so i can use multi section surface between these two profiles so that is finished now we can use the same method this profile and this 
outer circle because we projected so it was it is selected as a single profile it is if it is not projected you could have selected only one line so we have projected now there is a twisting because the closing point is somewhere else here it is uh, in this corner here it is in the center so how to avoid it so in this profile we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 points are there so the uh, software takes any one each point as the each uh, joining point as the uh, closing point but in this circle there is no joining point so software automatically takes some and uh, some position as a point that's why it is twisted so what i have to do i have to project this point in the same way to this circle then i can select that as the closing point then and then we can avoid this twisting but this twisting also it vary depends upon the version you used some softwares the further updated versions automatically it will uh, take the proper profile in older versions this testing happens so they updated the software so now what i need some corresponding point this one or this one or this one on this circle so that i can select same closing point so that i can avoid the testing so let's project this point on this circle so to project that we can use this projection tool okay wire frame and surface design third tool is the projection tool so select this point and project on this uh edges you see the point is projected here is that clear yes sir so now let's try that uh multi section surface between these two profile preview again testing happen so this side it is fine this side i have to replace this closing point on this projector point now you can see it is straight okay is that clear yes sir okay so depends upon the software this projection of point will vary in some versions without this point itself it is coming properly so in this version i have projected the point from here to here so i have selected closing point of here and here so it is uh, working in some software so this also not working so in that case what we have done we have projected one we have created one point in this center and one point in this center then those two center point we have taken as the closing points like that there is no definite uh, uh, method working method so you have to do it in the trial and error method is it clear so three methods hopefully within that you can cover it one is without closing point another one is projecting this point to here that is also if it is not working so then we got one point here one point here that we selected as the closing point then the issue was resolved if you if you are facing any other issue let me tell uh, let uh, let me know then at last we can create the cone so to create the cone i am going to use this fill tool okay so normally if you use the fill for this outer circle you will get the uh, circular sheet but there is another one option passing point so if you use the option and select some point is the pa uh, passing point now you can see the same sheet passing through this point so it is like a cone like structure is it clear yes sir okay that's it some uh, simplified uh, few slides profile is created you can ask why it is 200 200 and all i just created whatever it came to my mind so i given the distance this distance also i given uh, just my, due to my imagination i created okay if you get any blueprint you can create it properly also not an issue this uh, this also you can ask 
why are you creating for 50 sir what if i do it for uh, 60 80 or 40 and all this uh, cone structure is the right fill tool it will work only up to certain distance simply you cannot extend this point to the longer distance for example this plane if i offset instead of 50 to 70 it is created now instead of 70 i'm using 90 see print create the surface for 90 so there are limits so i used 50 so that i could get at least some uh, fuselage uh, streamline structure 